The idea of being able to get a chosen card to appear at a freely selected number has obsessed magicians for decades. It's one of the most fooling and intriguing effects possible with a pack of cards. In 2021, I released a video of my handling of the any card, any number plot. Within minutes, I was receiving messages from magicians all over the world asking if the method I was using was real or whether it had used a stooge. The method was real and the reactions were genuine. That's really good. I designed Miracle One because I wanted to be able to guarantee that the effect worked every single time. I also wanted to make it feel hands off. My aim was to make it seem as if I couldn't have influenced or controlled anything. The audience feel as if they could have chosen any card and any number. If you've watched any of my trailers before, you'll know what's coming next. You're going to see a full performance with one continuous camera shot. This is your chance to see the effect in its raw, unedited form. Lena, thank you for joining me. I'd like to show you something quite incredible. We have two decks of cards here, and I'd like you to choose either deck. The blue one. Right, so move it closer to yourself, and we're going to come back to that in a moment. But first off, we need a card selected, like a bit like a raffle, right? So we need these thoroughly mixed. Are you comfortable shuffling cards? Mm -hmm. Do you give these a, a shuffle for me, like this? I'll move this over there. That's it. And I'd like you to place the cards face up on the table, and I'd like you to cut the deck and complete the cut. Now, every time the cards are cut, it, it brings a completely different card into play. And because we're cutting these face up, I can see these cards. So I want a Parker prediction, but I want to make it mysterious. Pick them up, turn them face down, and place one face down over here. It's mysterious because we don't know what it is, right? But you shuffled and you cut. So place these over here, we don't need them anymore. This is where this deck comes into play, and this is where I need you to think of a number between 1 and 52. Mm -hmm. You got one already? Yeah. Okay. Look at me, think of the number. This isn't a high number, is it? No. Oh, it's worth a try. <laughs> Why don't you tell them what your number is? Go ahead. 21. 21. How fair is that? It's in your head, 21. <laughs> but here's the best bit. There is a card in here at the 21st position. I want you to take the cards out of the box for me. I won't touch the deck. Go ahead. That's it. Hold them face down. All right. And deal 20 cards here, but deal the 21st card over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This is the twenty-first card. You could have named any number between one and fifty-two. Deal this card face down here for a moment. Now let's just recap. You took that deck, you shuffled it, you then cut anywhere. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. You could have cut anywhere and you placed a card aside. You then chose a number between 1 and 52 which would have given you any of these cards here or any of these cards here. Correct? Turn it over. Let's have a look what you have. The Eight of Hearts. It'd be good wouldn't it? <laughs> here are the key points for you to know. First of all, the effect works every single time. Their chosen card is always at their name number. Secondly, there's no difficult sleight of hand whatsoever. And lastly, I truly believe that this is one of the most deceptive versions of the plot due to its multi-layered methods. This is Miracle One.